Hello, MNLA members. My name is Tim Maluli, and I'm a volunteer serving on your Government Affairs Committee, reporting to you from our luxurious workstations in our Minneapolis offices. You've likely heard a good deal this winter about bees and the possible link between neonicotinoid pesticides and honeybee colony deaths. You may also have observed the public announcements by Bachmann's, Bailey's, Gertens, and others about their decisions on the use and sale of neonic pesticides going forward. This winter, legislation has been introduced ranging from banning the use of neonic pesticides to adjusting labeling when identifying a plant as bee-friendly or having been treated with neonic pesticides prior to retail sale. This issue is complicated, especially when we consider that neonic pesticide products are currently among the most effective at combating emerald ash borer, and that the issue of pollinator death is likely more complicated than singling out one product with limited definitive science to prove its guilt in this matter. That said, your MNLA Government Affairs staff and volunteers are working hard on this topic to try to help impart the need for cool heads and science-based decisions. Meantime, here's your call to action. On Wednesday, April 16th, from 5 to 8 o'clock p.m. at the Walker Arts Center Cinema Room, attendees will hear a presentation with questions and answers on the state of bees from Dr. Marla Spivak, University of Minnesota entomologist and bee expert. Dr. Spivak will present information about honeybees, their role in our planet's ecosystem, and the recent and alarming mass deaths that have been observed. This issue is important to the green industry, and we as responsible practitioner managers of the urban landscape have an important role to play in the developing conversation and the likely public policy mandates that will result. I encourage you to go to the website attached to this email and enroll to attend the April 16th presentation. Do it now as the presentation will fill quickly. It would be great to see the Walker Cinema Room filled with concerned industry professionals to interact with Dr. Spivak on this important topic. As always, contact Tim Power, MNLA Director of Government Affairs, at 651-633-4987 or me at 763-559-1010 with any questions. Our email information is also on the accompanying email. Again, my name is Tim Maluli. I'm a volunteer in your MNLA Government Affairs program. I look forward to seeing you April 16th at 5 p.m. And remember, grassroots action grows results for MNLA members.